Here's a quick overview of the whole QBasic, QuickBasic uh, interpretation compilation thing. I've downloaded the two programs, QB64 and QuickBasic. Just fire up QB64. This is the one that does the compilation. Um, I can write my program right here, uh, but actually I wrote one earlier. I'm just going to open it up. It's called longloop.bass. And there's a program does all the usual things you'd expect. It's in high level code, so it's relatively understandable. And if I go run, start, run, it says down here creating.exe file and then starting program. Press any key to continue. So all this program did was run a loop. If you, if you actually look at what's going on in here, it's a loop inside a loop. So it's, that one goes to a thousand, that one goes to a thousand. So it does this loop a thousand times. So it actually it's, it's looping around a million times. So what it created in that folder was a long loop.exe file and this is the compiled machine code uh, that QB64 creates. So QB64 doesn't have to be running if I just close that down and then double hit double click long loop.exe fires up the program and again tells me it took 0 seconds to complete. So we're done with compilation. Let's go back to Quick Basic now. Quick Basic is the old classic. It's an interpreter. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And I'm going to open up exactly the same file. So file open, and uh, I've actually been in that folder already. So long loop dot bass. It's exactly the same program. Now, if I run this one and start, it didn't say creating a .exe file, it just went straight to it, so it actually QBasic was running the file and it took 1.5 seconds to, to run. So the key differences there are that QuickBasic did not create a long loop .exe, QBasic just ran it itself. Um, it took a lot longer to do it, although it started much more quickly. But if we go back to QB64, this one when I open long loop .bass, when I run it, it creates a .exe file first, which takes a little while to run, a um, little while to do. The .exe file is low-level machine code and runs an awful lot faster. That's it. That's what you need to get across in your report.